everyone, happy spooktober. As you can tell by the title, I am doing a dark fall makeup look and my hair is crazy, excuse the weird crazy eyebrows and I am breaking out. So without further ado, let's just jump into the makeup tutorial or video. I don't know if it's really a tutorial, but I'm gonna go put my double headband on because you know, I don't want my hair in my face. <clears throat> this mesh top was actually what I wore last year to be the devil. So, the first step, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I do have my mirror, so if I'm like looking off to the side or whatever, or if this gets in the way, I'm sorry. But it is kind of busted. <laughs> but um, yes, I have that, and I have some baby wipes because I know I'm gonna mess up somewhere because I am doing a cat liquid liner situation. So, <laughs> that takes me a while and um i'm gonna do it's i think it's like a full face because i'm doing like foundation contour highlight all that good stuff and i am doing lipstick but you're gonna have to watch this video to find out what color it is <laughs> let's just start i will start with some eyeshadow i might just do a little bit i'm gonna be using the Too faced chocolate bar palette the semi-sweet one and i think i'm gonna go in with coconut cream so this one. <sighs> yum i'm gonna start off with coconut cream and then i might just do like the subtle brown ones and maybe this one in the crease i don't know i don't know but i need my brushes i have my makeup bag I'm not an expert. Like, I don't have the right brushes. Some makeup is kind of old. I might just use my fingers for some parts. I know, I didn't use eyeshadow primer. Because the one I have is old. And I'm not going to a party but if you were going to a party you should use eyeshadow primer and so that that doesn't or concealer whichever one and if like you don't want that to crease you should put either powder on it like your foundation powder or eyeshadow just a little tip i hope that's right if you're a makeup artist please don't come for me <laughs> but next i'm gonna go into which one i think Mousse, this one right here. Mousse, and then just a little bit of truffled. Just a little bit, so my eyes aren't that dull, you know. And I am gonna be using this like blender brush. That's probably wrong. Please don't yell at me. <laughs> too crazy and then now is the scary part a liquid liner i will be using the milani itech extreme liquid liner and black is black <laughs> got it to what I wanted this lighting I'm so sorry but it's kind of just a little subtle baby wing and I do like it really sharp at the end so I really just sharped it out <laughs> that doesn't make any sense but I think the next thing I'm gonna do is foundation yeah and then eyebrows um, yeah and I already have my damp beauty blender, but I also have this, my Mario Badescu spray, just in case my beauty blender got a little, you know, dry. 
and I will be using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the shade 238 which is Rich Tan if you can focus it's Rich Tan I swear <laughs> Um, I don't know if I will be using any primer just because I'm not really going anywhere, but I'm just, I'll probably use a little bit. I'll use the Porefessional by Benefit. <gasps> Benefit? I don't know why I said that so weird. That. And, um, I also have this blur stick from Milk Makeup, but I don't know if it really does anything. I don't know. I don't think I'll use it. And maybe concealer. It's just because your girl is breaking out. And it's the Maybelline Master Conceal in... Oh, I don't think I should use it. Just because it's a lighter shade and I only want to cover up the pimples because it's in 30, which is light and medium. Yeah. Okay. I think the hard part's done, <laughs> but I will shake this a little bit. Um, put some primer, like I said, only a little bit, it's like a worm, just on the forehead, my nose, cheeks, cheeks. Okay, how is everyone doing? Any Halloween plans? <laughs> okay. And it really blends in easily, so you don't really have to be aggressive. Wow, that made me red. My face is sensitive. Just a little bit. When you touch it, it gets red. Alright, I'm gonna put some of the foundation on my hand. Close it. I don't think we use that much. But just pretend you're going to a party and you need this much. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna time lapse this. We're gonna cut that out. I don't like the cakey look as long as it covers up my redness you know and like some discoloration or whatever then I'm fine but like if some pimples are showing up like that like if it's a little bumpy I don't really care it's fine because you know that's my skin it's your skin it wants to do whatever it wants <laughs> alright eyebrows time I will be using, as you saw, if you saw my everyday get ready with me, I think. Um, it's just the Maybelline Brow Precise in... Did it say the color last time? Um, brown? <laughs> just this. This kind of color, and that's what it looks like with the little spoolie at the end. I'm not going to do too much, just because I know I have to do them. And they're a little crazy. I'm just gonna brush them out and maybe fill in the ends a little bit, just a little. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> do too much to them just because I already have really thick eyebrows and I don't want them to be any thicker 
but I am going to be putting some eyebrow gel and this is nasty. I need a new one, so don't look at it. But it's the Sonia Kashuk eyebrow gel. It's just the clear one. I don't know how long I've had it, maybe a year? Something like that, but I'm just going to brush through it. Just so everything stays in place. And I think a clear one's nice to get if you have already like really thick eyebrows just so it doesn't add any color because I know there are tinted ones. Um, but you know whatever floats your boat. <laughs> but yeah, that's, I know I have some redness there but that's just because I brushed it. <sighs> What's next? I think I'm going to put some like pencil liner in the upper upper lid you know inside like I did I might get ready with me and I'm gonna be using the Revlon color stay eyeliner in black I will curl my lashes. Um, let's see. I don't think I will just because I really like how the eyeliner is the only thing that sticks out. I know it probably irritates some girls or some people when you're wearing liquid liner but you don't curl the lashes. But I just like how the eyeliner is all on its own, you know? I don't know if I should do the bottom lashes. I probably will do the bottom lashes. But just really lightly. So it doesn't look too crazy. Um, for this look, you could use it as like a Halloween makeup look. If you were, let's say, going as a cat or as a witch. Um, you could also use it as like a vampire makeup look you could add like those really like with a light hand you can add purple and blue veins on your eyes just lightly not like so dramatic that it looks like lightning bolts <laughs> under your eyes uh just a little mascara that looks a little crazy <laughs> um you can use this makeup look for anything just because like you can change up the lipstick you can add whatever it's just really subtle probably said that like a hundred times my mom's talking so loud uh i'm just adding some vaseline because my lips can be a little dry when it comes to like liquid lipsticks um Next, I will be adding highlighter. It's so fun. I bought this, I think, last year, two years ago. I know, I know, you're probably not supposed to keep it that long. But who's going to use this much highlighter? Like, look at, look. Who's going to use that much? I guess someone who does their makeup every day. But this, a little, goes a long way. You don't want to go like this to the pan because, ooh. You will probably be seen from outer space, <laughs> but I will just tap it very lightly, like seriously, really light, because this is really good, like not even that much. Put a little bit on my nose, can you, can you tell? Oh yeah. Oh, it's so pretty, oh my gosh. And you do want to blend that a little bit, so it doesn't just look like white powder on your nose. <laughs> She's on the phone. Um, I <laughs> do want to add a little bit on top of the brow one that I put on earlier. So, that's it. Because that was like um, a cream highlighter, the Burberry one. And just a little bit down the bridge of my nose. You know? So you're like. A highlighted spooky queen. Alright, I'm gonna cover the brush a little bit and put some here 
what do you call this? The temples and the tops of your cheekbones? <laughs> I don't know the terms, I'm sorry. I used to watch a lot of makeup tutorials, but then I just stopped. I don't know, I don't really do like this full face thing all the time. Unless I'm going to a party. Or you know, if I'm with my friends and I want to go all out. Look a little... Treat myself, you know, treat myself to a nice full face. Because <laughs> you know, that's nice to do. Once in a while for yourself. But I can't believe October is almost over. It doesn't even feel like October, which makes me mad. I was talking about it with Michelle. Just cause like the weather's so hot, kind of takes away from the cozy October Halloween feeling, you know? I might, do I want to put some on the inner corner? Is that doing too much? It's like, <laughs> it's like those memes where you want, you're like, oh, I'll do a natural makeup look. But you end up going out with um, a full face of makeup. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just taking my pinky just because the brush won't do this justice. Just a little highlight. My voice. Every time I record, my voice gets all messed up. Okay, I think this is the time for... Um, yeah, this is the time for the liquid lip. I'm using ColourPop, and of course, again, it's kind of old. <laughs> I know, I need to go makeup shopping, but I also don't wear makeup every day, so... I don't know. Go ahead, roast me for my old makeup. <laughs> Alright. Shake a little bit. It is ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the color Notion what it looks like ah uh, it's like this i thought i had a darker one but i guess this one's pretty dark does it smell no i know for dark lip you need a lip liner but i don't have a dark lip liner i only have like those mauve -y ones so i'm just gonna go for it liquid lipstick i think i applied it really pretty nicely it kind of tickled when i was applying it on the bottom but as you can tell i wanted the focus to be mainly on the dark lip um i think it turned out pretty well i think i did pretty good job <laughs> for someone who hasn't done their makeup in a while and i only used one baby wipe yay see it's not even that much more up. <laughs> kind of proud of myself but I will set this. I'm using the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray with oil control. Because I'm an oily faced girl. Spray it. Spray it like Jeffree Star. <laughs> Ooh. That feels so nice. But that is the look. I'm actually really proud. I know my eyebrows look a little funky, but. Oh well, this is the dark fall look. Let's move my hair. Cute montage. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know if you like it. Oh, you can tell. A little sharp eyeliner. You could add falsies, but um, I really, I, th I feel like that would make it really dramatic. But if you're going for that type of look, you can. Um, yeah, you can change up the lip color whatever fall lip you like um i really like this one it's nice and i feel like it really brings out my eyes but um if you re recreate this look please send me pictures i would love to see them um thank you so much for watching like and subscribe if you haven't already comment 
comment your favorite liquid lip like the brand or the color and um happy spooktober we're almost done um yeah thank you so much i love you see you later my little devils <laughs>